Welcome once again to our Great Controversy Series, Chapter 19, Light Through Darkness. Mm -hmm. With me here today is Brother Francois, Sister Mioli, Brother Nube, Sister Lukomo. I'm Sister Nube, your host. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Sister Lukomo will pray for us. Let us pray. Our kind and heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for the time which you have given us. We thank you for the chapter which we are going to discuss today. We thank you for your children at home who are listening and are viewers to this program, Father God. May you bless them in a special way with more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Us also, Father God, as we are going to be discussing this chapter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In this chapter in particular, yes, we have been dealing with reformers mm -hmm. in the past chapters. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, we are looking at Jesus', Jesus walk with his disciples. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, too many a time along the way, children of God have been uh, making mistakes, mm -hmm. um, coming mm -hmm. through errors, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. God helping them mm -hmm. here and there. We are, today, we are looking at disciples mm -hmm. making their own errors. Yeah. Yet, they had walked with Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus walked among them, talked mm -hmm. with them, mm -hmm. gave them illustrations, yes. gave them parables, but yeah. somewhere along the way, they also made errors. Mm -hmm. So, as we are sitting down where we are and looking at history, mm -hmm. we'll have to understand that a history is going to repeat itself. Hey, yeah. So the story yeah. of the disciples yes. is not so much of them. Yes. It's much for us. Mm -hmm. So Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 15, the Bible says, that which is has already been and God requires an account of what is past. Yes. So while we are sitting in the present moment mm -hmm. and going forward into the future, these lessons of the disciples of Jesus Christ is going to elaborate more, more on them. They are going to serve us as a lesson book for us to be able to improve mm. on our journey with God. Mm. My take, uh, Brother Fanswa, comes um, from the two terms. Light oh, yes. mm. through darkness. darkness. Yes. Mm. So I, I, I envision something there. You go to John chapter 1, you see a beautiful story about light. Oh, mm. yes. And then the chapter says in verse 1, in the beginning was, was the, the word, word. Mm. and the word was with, was with God, and the word was God. Was God. God. Yeah. Mm. Now verse 3, mm -hmm. all things were made through him, mm. without him nothing was made. made. Mm. We're talking about the light, yes. mm -hmm. this light guy. Yeah. Mm. And then verse 4, in him was life, oh, yeah. and this life was the light of, of the man. World. Mm. Mm. So the light for everybody, the light for us all, to get out of darkness, mm -hmm. there's no other except this light. Oh yeah. So as you follow, you need to understand we are in a dark world. Mm -hmm. And you look at uh, John 8 to refer to you the darkness part. Mm -hmm. And it says there, um, John 8 verse 12, Then Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. Amen. He who follows me shall not walk in what? In darkness. In darkness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I, I thought quickly and said, you know what? This world... This country, mm. our families, mm. our communities are struggling because of darkness. Mm. Of course, there's escom things. But there's darkness of spirituality. Yeah, of course. And I thought about uh, Minister of Police. Yo, the guy is struggling. Crime is going there. Darkness, mm. Bob. Mm. So we need this spirit, this light of God to enlighten. The justice system won't make it. Yeah. Mm. It needs mm. the light of God. Mm. Mm. The moment there's a change in people because of this light, this darkness will be a thing of the past. Oh, mm. yes. Wow, this is interesting because okay. I'm reminded of Psalms chapter 119, yes, you know, saying, Your word yep. is a light, is a lamp yeah. on my feet, feet. and a light oh, unto my path. Exactly. Okay, so now without Jesus, yeah. and without his word, there is darkness. Mm. Total darkness. And uh, darkness is dangerous mm. because you mm. see the Apostle Paul writing to the Thessalonians. He yeah. says in the second uh, uh, letter to the Thessalonians yeah. yes. in chapter 2, yeah. you know, if we do not want mm -hmm. to accept the light, yes. mm. he's going to send us a strong delusion, mm. okay? So that we believe a yeah. lie, and mm. that they is darkness. Darkness. Mm. darkness has to do with lies. Yeah. You know, mm. there's no Deception. light where there's yeah. darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, when this light is being talked about, yes, I'm reminded of the verse which says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Amen. Yeah. What shall I fear? Yeah. Mm. Mm. And the fear, you know, that it's not a godly spirit. Okay. And uh, mm. the word 
do not fear is written for each and every, every day, day. Mm -hmm. because it appears about 365 times. times in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So every day we are reminded not to fear, Amen. not to fear, yeah. not to fear yeah. as we walk with the Lord. Amen. So looking at this light through darkness, looking at this work of God in this earth presented from age to age, mm. striking similarities, yes. meaning when we check about, when you check about uh, the, the, the journey that has been taken by Abu Luda, yeah. Abu mm. Mila, mm. and mm. they've got similarities mm. which are being uh, uh, stated here. Mm. Yes, mm. yeah, uh, for this great reformation yes. in this mm. religious movement. Yes. Mm. Yeah, the principles of God dealing with men are ever yeah. the same. Yes. Hey, Eh, we Always. serve a God who does not change. Yes. Amen. Our God is the Alpha, <laughs> the Omega, Omega, the one who Amen. was yesterday. He, he is. is today and he, he shall is. be. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Okay. Now, I want us to draw our attention to something else. Yes. Now, let's discuss the reality of the disappointment. Okay. Okay. The disciples of Jesus spoke with Jesus. Mm. He tells them of the kingdom of God yes. that is going to be set. We are talking of people who are enslaved, who are in pain, yeah. mm. embarrassed, in anguish. They've almost lost their identity mm. amongst the Romans mm. because they are so disgraced every day. And yeah. here their Messiah mm. has arrived. Mm. These are the few who have accepted that Jesus is the Messiah. Yes. He tells them of a kingdom that is going to be set up. Okay. They are mine. Oh, of course. This is an ethnic kingdom. Yes. Very soon, yeah. the Romans we will know who we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then suddenly, because yeah. they had not really understood the Savior, yes. their master mm. is taken, crucified. Yeah. He lies in a tomb. Yeah. Let's discuss their disappointment okay. when their master is lying okay. in the tomb. He has not resurrected yet. Yeah. Mm. Now, the time in which the disciples actually lived was a time where they were under the oppression of the Romans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, anyone who's actually a slave, what, what do you expect? Mm. Delivery. The yeah. Divorce, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Look forward so they're looking to forward to a king, someone mm -hmm. who can come and come and take them from their miseries. Mm -hmm. So that con conception there, or the concept, was not totally 100% wrong. Okay. It was right, okay. mm. but it was actually misapplied. Yes. Mm. So when the truth of God is being misapplied, it becomes mm. darkness instead of light. Mm. 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 So God, God has designed his word in such a way that each and every link of it must find its proper uh, inch, I mean, place where it can fit in. Yeah. Now, the disciples of Jesus Christ, of course, they have accepted Jesus Christ. They were willing to follow him all the way. I mean, Peter mm. said, Lord, if, if you are going to die, I'm going to die with yes. you. Yes. So that's how they tell me some of them were. Yes. But the problem was that the time in which they were living in and the concepts that were going on or probably teachings, had somewhere, somehow, an influence upon these individuals. Yes. So while they were looking for a king who's going to, to destroy the Romans, they forgot that Christ is supposed to die first. Yes. So Christ has died. Now what do you expect? This is the man that I've been looking up to. So there's no hope for us. Yeah. Mm, the celebrity of the then times. Yes. You know, <laughs> you, you, you know what I, I see, Sister then. Page 345 in this wonderful book, The Great Controversy. Mm. Mm. Though the finite minds of men are inadequate mm. to enter into the counsels of the infinite one mm. or to understand fully the working out of his purposes, yet often it is because of some error or neglect on their own part mm. that they so dimly comprehend the messages of heaven. Mm. You look at the disciples as we are saying. Mm -hmm. so, so some error creeps in. The, uh, the finite minds, mm. they come to an age we're all looking for a benefit. When now? Yeah. And so the vision of what Jesus had come for is not very clear. It's dim, mm. even to the very disciples. Mm. And so they're in a process of darkness. Things are not fine. Yeah. And this is reality. Mm. All of us, somewhere in life, we have been disappointed. Of course. Mm. And when disappointment comes, it shrouds everything. It's like the end of the world. Mm. <laughs> but I like Psalms that. Verse 5. Mm. He then comes and saying, um, Morning may tarry for a night. Mm. Mm. This problem of darkness may tarry for a night mm. because darkness and light are not uh, friends. Mm. Mm. The moment light comes in, the darkness will disappear. Mm. And then he says, Joy comes mm. in the morning. Mm. So for the disciples, yes, it was until Sunday morning when the master rose. So light through darkness, we are always safe. 
mm. with the light. And the light is Christ. Mm. Mm. Where that's, what situation it is, you see most of the families are crumbling divorce, crumbling mm. deaths, mm. crumbling COVID. That's darkness hour, but the truth is joy comes in the morning. morning. One morning, these mm. things shall be over. Mm. Mm. Sure. It yes. makes me wonder, you know, in, in our day-to-day -day lives, yes, that when we face disappointment, yes. what is it exactly that goes on in, in our, our minds? minds? Mm -hmm. What is it that we turn to? Mm -hmm. What is it that we run to? Yes. You know, because yes. as you have rightly put it, mm -hmm. the disappointment was not necessarily uh, a disappointment simply okay. because the scriptures had not mm -hmm. shown the mm -hmm. truth yep. to mm -hmm. them yeah. before. Yes. The, 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 it was written there that yeah. he should be cut off. Exactly. Again, but then they missed that part. They missed that point. So it's, it's it's because of the many things, you know, that we do not pay attention to, yes, that we, we miss mm -hmm. uh, the actual message, mm -hmm. and we run with our own narratives mm -hmm. and yes. our own preconceived yeah. ideas, because we're experiencing a particular oppression, yes, and we have course. an idea of what this kingdom should look mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. and so we get disappointed, mm -hmm. but it's important that it's when important. we get disappointed, we tend to the word of Amen. God, because Amen. it will make whatever is a mystery, a mystery clear. Thank mm -hmm. you. And we thank God for his Holy Spirit because every disappointment is rectified by the presence of the Holy Spirit. Oh, amen. amen. Because uh, as we journey uh, in this uh, faith, um, we, get, we get disappointed. Yeah. But the Bible states very well that a righteous man uh, falls, mm -hmm. but yeah. seven times, seven times. Yeah. Yeah. and rises and again. And rises <laughs> yeah. again. Mm -hmm. how, many, how many times? Seven times, yeah. which is the number of completeness. Yes. Yes, which means uh, the more you strive, God considers Amen. it. Amen. And uh, He considers into His perfection. Yes. And I think uh, if God can consider the trying of a human being mm -hmm. as perfection, how about when? Uh, my foolishness yes. is um, my wisdom is foolishness mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. I'm just a, a fucker busted actually yes. because um, in page uh, 343 here, okay. uh, it's written God by His Holy Spirit especially di directs His servants on earth in great movements yes. for the caring forward of His work yeah, of salvation. Yes. Mm. Men are instruments, they are vessels yes. Mm. Yes. Uh, in the hand of God employed by him to accomplish his purposes mm. of grace and mercy. Each has his part yes. to act. Yes. Mm. We are the body of Christ. Amen. The others are the eyes, yes. the ear, a what? Yeah. And you cannot say to, uh, to the ear, uh, you must see. You must see. <laughs> and for the arm yeah, to go. Yeah. So it means that we need to be balanced. Amen. So that's, as far as I has already uh, mentioned, that it's not about then yes. the disciples, it's, mm -hmm. all, it's about us, us now. now. So we are being taught in a way that as we are evangelists, mm -hmm. as we journey in this Christian tour of yeah. ours, yeah. we must expect. Uh, disappointments, yes. but we will fall Amen. and rise, rise. again. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. Now, it's like the disciples had tested the yeah. hour of darkness. Yes. Mm. They were being tried. Yes. Mm. They were supposed to come through the other side, yes. pure, like oh, gold that exactly. has been thrown <laughs> in the fire. Mm. Exactly. You know, when we go through these trials, yeah. we are being yes. purified. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Now, now, Sister Lokomo touched something very important. Yeah. When we are disappointed, what do we tend to? Mm. Exactly. I think that is the most important part mm. right now, because mm. disappointments mm. are guaranteed. We'll come. guaranteed. We will meet them along Definitely. our way. Oh, yes. Now, the most important thing is, what do we do when we are disappointed? disappointed. Mm. Where do we tend to when we are disappointed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think in Where all of this, we, we should not forget we are princes and princesses yeah. of the kingdom. Yeah. Heads <laughs> must be held high, yeah. shoulders up. We yeah. don't, we give the world a smile and we don't allow the devil to see our yeah. 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 We'll be taking a short break meant. right now. Please, viewers, stay with us. We'll be joining you shortly. Welcome once again. Thank I want you. us to look at the part where 
got children go through trials. Mm. Mm. The devil brings it to us mm. as disappointed, yeah. as disappointment, as darkness. Yeah. But I want us to understand that God is in charge even of the enemy's camp. Yes. Mm. That which is brought to us for mm. negativity, mm. God turns it to our advantage. Mm. Yes. Mm. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 speaks about that as well. Mm -hmm. That all things work together for, for good. 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 Yes. So as long as God is still in charge, whether you're going through a veil of darkness yeah. or light, mm -hmm. it's still going to work for the goodness of you as well as for the advancement of the mm -hmm. cause of God. Mm -hmm. So you'll find out disappointment time and again because that's the saddest moment of everyone. Yeah. Disappointment is a key that God actually used to unlock certain advantages for his kingdom. Yes. So as, as, as we go through darkness, we shouldn't be despair. Mm -hmm. mm. When we go through light, we should continue to celebrate yeah. because mm. our attitude, you know, during the darkness and toward, I mean, during the light should be the same as the children of God. Why? Because God, mm. in God's eyes, the light and darkness is still the same, same. <laughs> as long same. as it's actually present. Mm. So when, when we walk with God, that's the biggest lesson that we, con we should continue to learn because there are many people who are going to see darkness yes. and be able to withdraw back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and when you look at it in the book of Hebrews, it says, if anyone draws back, yeah. my soul shall never have joy or mm -hmm. happiness in him. Yeah. So we have to go, our walk is going forward, whether in darkness, where we don't understand much, mm -hmm. or when we, we understand much, but we still have to continue there. Because mm -hmm. at each and every given stage yeah. or phase of our life experience, mm -hmm. God will be glorified and we are going to be lifted up. Mm -hmm. I, I'm encouraged, my bra, by a statement I read somewhere. I can't remember the book, but it comes now as you are talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This statement says, God does not take useless stones mm -hmm. and throw them, <laughs> them in a furnace. Yeah. Yes. So if there's a purpose for your furnace, mm. for your disappointment, mm. God is allowing that process. He says uh, uh, problems are God's workmen oh, yes. who will chisel up, shape you up, mm. remove those edges that are not right, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you of fit course. in in God's kingdom. Mm. Mm. And page 347, beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, unto the upright, there ariseth light in the darkness. Oh, yeah. So for those who are upright, in other words, who are linked to the light, mm. darkness will not have power. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Then says, I will bring the blind by a way mm. that they knew not. Even the blind did not know this, but I'll bring them along. Mm. It is God speaking. Sure. I will lead them in the paths that they have not known. So let's allow ourselves an open door. Mm. Allow the master to come in. He says, mm. if I come in and dine, mm. open up your heart so that I come in. Mm. And I'll come in there. What will I do? He says, once I'm in, I'll make darkness light before them and crooked things yep. straight. Mm. <laughs> there are challenges of corruption. Yeah. Uh, corrupt, even our young people, corrupt as they are. Mm. Uh, even those at school, in which relation has shown stories. You see them wanting to make things happen. Mm. Some even writing in the ceiling to copy. So corruption is all over, not only in government circles, mm. in our own homes. Yeah. Mm. So this light must come in, phase out who must go in, myself, mm -hmm. yourself. All of us need the light. Mm -hmm. And once Christ comes in, he says, I will rule the heart. Mm. And this person will change. He will make us mm. his own. Yeah. So it is very critical to remember who we are, where we are journeying to, who is with us? Mm. You know, my elder, you've just reminded me okay. of, of, of James. Yes. My brethren, I, I read it for you. Okay. It says, my brethren, count it all joy yes. when you fall into diverse temptations. Amen. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience and oh. patience, yeah. perfect work. Mm. Perfect work uh, so that you are entire wanting nothing, yes. mm. you know. So this period really was, was, a, was a, a, a trying, trying period, period for, yeah. for, for, for the disciples. disciples. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, it's interesting what James is saying here because when you are going through a disappointment, you don't want to be joyous and all, but then you are told, yeah, count yeah, it all count joy. It all joy. Mm. Yeah, because God's ways yeah. are not our ways. Yes. Of Actually, that is what is being emphasized, that mm. you know what? Oh. You might be crying and groaning Morning. in the deepest mm -hmm. darkness mm -hmm. ever, but God God's ways yeah. are not uh, our ways. Yes. His ways are high Higher. and holy. So we must just be joyful. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Amen. when we talk about this darkness, uh, darkness really in a human sense of the way, yeah. way it, it really brings a truthfulness. Okay. Mm. Just uh, talking about load shedding alone. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this load shedding, when uh, electricity is it's gone, off, it's gone mm. yeah. you really face the, reality, mm. the reality <laughs> that really uh, you Depend are without light. Mm. Of course. Mm. And the source of power, which yeah. is 
uh, the electricity yeah. is not with you. Yeah. So I'm reminded in the book of Micah chapter 7, yes. uh, people read, they, uh, they realize and then they confess Amen. their sins. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, in Psalms chapter 139 verse 12, uh, it reads thus, yeah, the darkness hideth not from thee, mm -hmm. but the night shineth as the day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Meaning that when you are in that darkness facing the reality and really accepting yeah. the reality, because yeah. we, sometimes we do face the reality, yes. but we do not want to accept it. Mm -hmm. And it comes to a point Denialism, whereby you yeah. are being the right mm -hmm. vessel to be mm -hmm. used. Mm -hmm by yeah. God. Yeah. And when God looks at you that through that darkness, yes. there's something which has been worked through your mm -hmm. character. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when the light comes, you'll do the right things. Amen. 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 Okay, I, I want to go back to something that Elder Mube touched yes. when he said, you know, God does not throw useless or into fire. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sometimes these trials that we go through, they, 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 they find some of these edges that are right. You know, somebody puts it in a scenario of a sparrow. Okay. He says, when, when a trainer is training a sparrow to mm. speak, you would say, suppose you took it and put it outside on a tree. Okay. And you say it to a sparrow, say, good, I am going to the shops. All right. And a child parrot, passed by. Okay. Is it a parrot? parrot yeah. Thank you very parrot. much. And if a child passed by yeah. and said, I am going to school, yeah. and then a car would, the parrot would say, it is very good, I am going to school. <laughs> okay. <and it> would. <laughs> you know? Yes. So if the master wants the utmost yes. concentration yes. of the sparrow, mm -hmm. you will take it put it in a cage, yes. in a room that is quiet, yeah. there is no light in the room, and you would even cover it with a black cloth. Yes. Mm. Once it gets into that <laughs> kind of stage, Mood, it, yeah. it mm. now knows yes. it has no one else okay. but the master. The, yeah. mm. so and the it master. concentrates 100%. So everything that the master says, mm. it catches. It catches mm. So sometimes, we need darkness. when we go through yeah. these things, okay. yeah. the master is saying to us, this give direction. me your attention. Amen. Mm. Amen. Because yeah. when we are in our comfort zone, yes. we even forget yeah. we are not of our own. Yeah. Mm. We think it is through our yeah. power. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. let us look at something else that is very important okay. here. Uh, when the disciples of Jesus were preaching, saying, repent, mm. the kingdom of God is at hand. Is at hand. Yes. Yeah. The message was correct, yes. Yes. but That's they didn't understand the, the establishment yeah. mm. of the kingdom of God. Okay. Mm. Now the establishment of the kingdom of God, mm. it is through the death of Christ. Yeah. Mm. When Christ hung on Calvary yes. and said, it is finished, finished. Mm. then the kingdom of God was established yes. according to the writer. Yeah. So now they were missing the point. Yep. They did not want yep. their master to, to die. die. Mm. And that would miss the establishment of the kingdom of yes. God. So many things have happened in our lives mm. for our own advantage mm. and we don't mm. want them to happen. Mm. Little yes. do we understand them that when some of these things happen, mm. it is but somehow yes. the establishment yes. of, go of God's kingdom in yes. our lives. Yeah. Mm. That's very true. I mean, I, I, I like that concept of them looking for the kingdom of glory rather, uh, rather than looking at the kingdom of grace. Yes. Mm. Because the concept of the, mm. look, you know, the kingdom was all, all, you know, the Romans are going to be overthrown. We are going to sit and we're going to, we are going to be the nearest people to God ever. So when you come to the Bible, the Bible speaks about the two kingdoms, yes. which mm -hmm. are very clearly revealed in the Bible. So the first one is the kingdom of grace, oh, yes. mm -hmm. which we've just alluded, saying that mm -hmm. it was established as Christ hang on the cross. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at the kingdom of grace, is the kingdom that is supposed now to be to go into now for you know in full force, mm -hmm. because it was actually devised before the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. It was actually uh, instituted when men mm -hmm. fell into sin, yes. and it was supposed to be implemented. When, men, when Christ came and died on the cross. So there were three uh, steps that are, you know, of these kingdoms. So devised, instituted, and then established. Yes. So Christ came to die by his death. He's supposed to establish that kingdom. Now, mm -hmm. the purpose of this kingdom is to allow every sinner yes. to come in and then when the sinner comes in, and that's where we prepare them for the kingdom, which now the disciples were looking forward. Okay. So it, it's supposed to take hundreds of years again yes. for that kingdom of Daniel chapter 2 to come and be established because that's the kingdom of glory. So the purpose of the kingdom of grace is more of preparing sinners okay. mm. who are going to accept by yes. faith yeah, by Christ faith. as their personal savior mm. to be prepared for the kingdom that is here to come, which is the kingdom of glory. And when the kingdom of glory is established, no, no one who's going to be hanging on their sins will be able to be part of that yes. kingdom. Mm. You, you know, the, it, it reflects on me 
uh, this situation I meet always as you go evangelizing. Mm. Most people will tell you, I will not come to church. I'm still sorting myself out. Mm. <laughs> uh, when, when I'm okay, yeah. when I'm okay. By okay, he means mm. I, I will have uh, thrown away, I will have shoved some of the sins mm. when I'm perfect, when I'm righteous, then I'll come to church. Yeah. Mm. But look here, we are being taught the mm. concept that God wants you as you are because yeah. he's the purifier. Yes. Mm. You don't have that righteousness yourself. Mm. It is with Christ. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then is Hebrews 4, I like it, my brother. I like it. I want to talk to the viewers also and say, uh, Hebrews 4 verse 15, he then says, yeah. let us come boldly. boldly. Yeah. I, I like the word. Let's write it in bold as well. Yeah. Come boldly. boldly. In other words, you're coming without compromise. You're not, you're not looking down upon anything. You're, not, you're actually confident. Mm-hmm. Boldness. Mm. To say, when I go there, it is him who supply me mm. what is required. Mm-hmm. And you know, it reflects uh, shortly after that, they were disappointed. The master is gone. The kingdom. Maybe some like those were thinking, "Ah, oh, a minister of what? A minister of what in this kingdom?" Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> when these things fail, yeah, uh, these guys are disappointed, mm. and they on a journey to Emmaus. You find that in Luke, and then they meet Jesus. They don't even recognize him. Mm. They are busy in their things, but Jesus starts expounding on them, <laughs> and their hearts are carried away. Wow. Who is this man? Mm. Then he says, later when they discover this, wow, all this time we didn't notice it's possible to be living close <laughs> to the right things, but mm. without noticing them. Oh, yeah. And God is still calling, come mm. unto me, all you who labor and okay. are heavy laden, I'll give you, give you rest. rest. Even rest from our disappointments. Mm. Mm. And so it's critical, come as you are. Mm. Okay, maybe before we touch the issue of the resurrection, yes. let's, let's look at the time when, when, when Gethsemane for Jesus is, by, is about a stone throw away. Yes. Yeah. The disciples are contending one to another. Mm. Who is the greatest among yes. us? You know? So, mm. so basically, hey. who, who becomes hey. deputy president? Exactly. Yeah. Should it, it, yeah. it be me or somebody else? Yeah. You, know, you know this protest scenario of mm. our churches when yes. we are going for nominating committees? Yeah, election, you know? election time. Uh, 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 yes. How best can we handle this situation okay. so that we don't see these as, as positions, but okay. we see them as opportunities of service, yes. of being a servant yeah. to your fellow congregants? Yes. Mm. You know, the challenge, yes. Sister Nubede, is uh, positioning. If we understand why God has called us, yeah. we have no problem with this thing. Mm. But it tends to be political and to... For me, I will go with my clique. Mm. You know, it's, it's a political organization mm. Mm. where we start grouping ourselves. But if we have a mission of saying, why are we here? We are here, as Matthew 28 says, go ye therefore. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. The duty of every Christian is to go out. Mm. So the business is not here who is where, who is the leader where. If a leader comes and uh, he's inclined to me, mm. then I continue supporting. Yeah. Mm. If he's not inclined to me, then I decline. Mm. It's actually deception. It's the darkness we're talking about. Mm. Whoever God puts there, mm. whether you think it's erroneous, God has a message, <laughs> has a yeah. plan. Yeah. Support this one who God has put. Mm. If all of us go with the same mission, same vision, this work of God will go in an astounding way. Mm. But we tend to politicize and compartmentalize ourselves, which is not necessary. Mm. Mm. Hey, you and know, also it, yeah. it, mm. it, um, it's the relationship that you've got with the Holy Spirit. Yes. If you don't have a personal relationship mm. or a walk with Christ, then uh, the plans that uh, you, uh, someone will be trying to do will be physical yeah. plans, yes. which are not godly oh, yes. and which won't be working mm. for good mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to those who love God and for those who are called according to his purpose. Yes. Because uh, in these instances, a person tends to use his own. Yeah. And uh, we know that every day we need to die to self. Yes. So that Christ takes over mm. and the Holy Spirit reigns. Okay. Yeah. So without the, le- the leading of the Holy Spirit mm, in his work, there is no way that. No what way. I can say is that even if there are those who've got so such political plans and mm. political mm. games, political mm. minds, uh, as long they are, 
the few which are prayerful and yes. connected to Christ, God will move his, his mission, mission will be accomplished. Exactly. Uh, we'll be going for a short break right now. When we come back, we'll continue to elaborate on the very same topic. Don't go away, stay okay. with us. Welcome once again. Before we went for break, we were discussing the issue of the disciples, yes. who is the greatest amongst yeah. us. And we went on to discuss about nominations in yeah. our own churches. Yeah. Now I'm thinking, if only we understood yes. the response, that the responsibility, uh, that the positions go with responsibility, mm -hmm. we mm. should account before God yeah. what we did yes. when we were given these positions of mm. influence. Yeah. How many people were baptized yes. during a time yeah. when you were head elder? <laughs> when you were superintendent, how many souls did oh, come yeah. in? Yeah. Would actually want to sit at the back yeah. hearing yes. how much responsibility yeah. there is and accountability yeah. for that matter? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, I wanted to read the verse that you quoted from Matthew chapter 18, verse 1 to 4. Yes. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And, the, and Jesus called a little child unto him yes. and set him on in the midst of them and said, verily I say unto you, yeah. except you be converted, yes. conversion, mm -hmm. yeah. and become as little like children, mm -hmm. you shall not enter into the kingdom yeah. of heaven. Mm -hmm. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, mm. the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Mm. Yes. Mm. So that is a lesson for us who live today because these things are written for us, you know, that we should be as humble yeah. as little yeah. children. Yeah. But mm. the pomp yes. of yeah. and, and the pride of wanting to be <laughs> elegant you. and have yeah. positions, yeah. you know, is actually erasing it's that killing. humility yeah. of a little child. Yeah. Mm. And it has no place, as we see here, yes. in the <laughs> kingdom of heaven. Mm. But in the kingdom of heaven, uh, yeah. humility of a little child has a place. Yeah. Mm. The kingdom of grace won't continue forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it mm -hmm. actually says now. Yeah. It will play its part yeah. yes. so that we can switch into the kingdom of of glory because yeah. God doesn't want us, us to you know to stay here for and dwell. in as much as people want to be here because it's nice everyone is accommodated mm. you know you feel free you can do as you please because you know there's no any one is going to force you let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 13 verse 41 to 43 it speaks about that kingdom of grace there mm. okay uh, in that parable and it says the son of man will send out his angels yes and mm -hmm. they will gather out Amen. of his kingdom all things that offend and those who practice lawlessness, mm. verse 42, and he will cast them into the furnace of fire. Yeah. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Mm -hmm. Then the righteous will shine forth oh, yes. as Amen. the sun Amen. in the kingdom of their father. And, and kingdom of their father. He who has ear, let him hear. Mm. You know, so when the work of grace has done its work, yes. appointed work, God will definitely going to come now in the kingdom of grace, which mm -hmm. is the symbol of the church, mm -hmm. where the people are, where the messages reach the people, mm -hmm. and God is going to do the work of separating mm -hmm. those, who are going, those who are going to offend or continue to offend the law yeah. of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lawlessness. They are mm -hmm. going to be living against the law of God. The Bible says God is going to, is going to take them out of his kingdom. So that those who are going to live according, because the whole yeah. idea of the kingdom yeah. of grace and, and the kingdom of grace, it's yeah. all about preparing a people yes. who, who are going yes. to enter into a covenant mm. relationship with God. And the covenant of God is the Ten Commandments or the law of Jehovah. Mm. So everyone must be qualified while yeah. they're still there in the kingdom of grace. To be able to be uh, to be able to be taken from that kingdom of grace okay. to the kingdom of glory, and the law of God comes to mind as well that anyone who is going to have part in the kingdom of glory yeah. will be the one that has entered that covenant relationship with God. So it's very important wherever we are as Christians, yes. we must take advantage of the grace of God yes. because soon or very soon the grace of God is going to come to an end, and mm -hmm. God is going to bring the judgment and that separating separation. That's what we call the shaking mm -hmm. when it takes place if. We are, you are not yet well established in that covenant. Yeah. Just remember one thing that God is going to take you out and you're not going to be part of the kingdom of glory. Yes. So we are preparing ourselves to be part of the kingdom of glory yeah. while we're still in the kingdom of grace. And the kingdom of grace 
must continue like this until when the gospel Amen. of Christ Amen. is preached to everyone, Amen. the light, Amen. Oh, yes. through light darkness, yes. to everyone, and yes. then everyone must be given a choice to be able to choose Christ or to reject, and the choice will always remain in our hands. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. Now, I want us to look at this scenario. Okay. Uh, uh, the disciples of Jesus have had yes. their master died. Suddenly, Jesus is resurrected, mm. and he shows himself to them. Yeah. Mm. Now, hope is renewed. Now, I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> the disciples would be giving the statement we are back, we are back. <laughs> yeah back uh, with the bag you know our our savior has yep. come back now yeah. this is the very interesting mm. now when, when when jesus resurrected mm. now the, the disciples of jesus start understanding the kingdom of giving yes. of heaven yeah. in a totally different, different. manner yeah, they start appreciating mm. 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 that we did not get our facts mm. right mm. but now that our master is back we are mm. getting our facts right mm. the master tells them yeah i will leave you yes. i shall ascend back to heaven yeah. but mm. i shall live with you a comfort ah. now when the master ascends yes the people around the disciples are thinking the disappointment yeah. is back it's back but this <laughs> They are so full of joy. Yeah. Their master is going, yeah. but they are full of joy. Yeah. They understand that mm. a comforter is coming. Yeah. And then the day of Pentecost arrives. Yeah. Yes. They, they promised a comforter descends. Yeah. Yes. And then when that happens, yeah. the early Christian church Amen. is ready it's to run. Yes. It's ready to run. It's on fire. They are unstoppable. Amen. Mm. Mm. You, you notice something, Sister Nube, there. Um, I'll pick what Sister Zoe was saying there. Look, uh, the problem of disappointment, it has short legs, but we don't notice. We think it will run forever. Mm. The legs are very short, don't run very far. Mm -hmm. It will soon end. But then um, I have seen something in church uh, that happens. Uh, I want to take this from Joel too. My people shall never be ashamed. Mm. That's Joel. So you see, shame comes in mm. like in Adam and Eve. Once sin works on you, you are tempted, you fall, you are ashamed. Oh, yes. yes. And you don't want to associate with the church. Mm. And the church doesn't want to associate with you also. Mm. Many times those of us who have fallen, you are actually left on your own. Mm. Disappointment. Of course, the name will come in the church board one day mm. and then uh, they are quick to rush to those. Mm. But look at what the master does. He accommodates his disciples on the journey. The kingdom of grace we are seeing there, he says it is finished. In other words, when this happens, it doesn't matter who you are. Uh, sometimes when I meet uh, some brethren who are not in the faith, who are not, they have not believed what I believed, I always think about Christ. Mm. Mm. What would Christ do here? Mm. We will quickly sign off people. This one is approached to it away. This one is drunkard away. This one is, <laughs> we want to think we are the. But God's people, those are still God's people. Those are the deacons. Eh? Those are the mamdoka. Mm. The same people you see there. Mm. So the kingdom of grace is actually saying they will not be ashamed because mm. God is calling them. If we don't go and do it, he would do it himself. Mm. Then the statement here is pleasing. Page 351. When on his resurrection day, these disciples met the Savior and their hearts did what? Bend within them mm. as they listened to his words. When they looked upon the head and hands and feet that had been bruised for them, mm. when before his ascension, Jesus uh, led them out as far as Bethany and lifting his hands in blessing. So you, you see that picture of what Christ had done for them. Sacrifice even to die for their cause. Mm. It brought them that joy, as you were saying. They are filled by the Spirit and they want to go on and on because there is hope where we are coming from. Mm -hmm. God has pushed us and said, go on, I'm backing your, your back. Yep. And then I'm that gives you. us the joy. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. It's very nice to see that the first very church that Christ founded yes. was, actually, was actually established out of disappointment. Yes. Mm -hmm. True. So as God declared the end from the beginning, mm. we will have to see also at the end of our journey, mm -hmm. the last phase of this church, which was born out of disappointment, being also re-established out of disappointment. Mm. So disappointment is not something that we should be looking at strange to yes. us. It began with the disciples. Yeah. And the last phase of the Christ remnant himself. church of God mm -hmm. will also mm -hmm. going to be born out of disappointment. Yes. So that as we are going to look at that last phase in the near future, 
we'll be able to understand that Amen. this is the, this is the end is the way that God declared mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So this kingdom that we're talking about of grace, I want just us to look at probably one verse. Okay, you know where the Bible shows that God is in the business now yes. in establishing the kingdom of glory. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says there in the book of uh, uh, Daniel chapter seven verse four, thirteen to fourteen. It says, mm -hmm. "I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like is the son of man." Yes came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they, they brought him near before him. Mm -hmm. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that mm -hmm. all people, Amen. nations and languages Amen. should save him. His dominion is everlasting dominion yeah. which shall not pass away. And his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Amen. Mm. So there's, there's a kingdom in as much as established one here. Yes. There was a movement in heaven where Christ went to receive the everlasting kingdom. Amen. Which is the kingdom of glory. Mm -hmm. And how he is going to establish that one, just one verse quickly from the book of Isaiah chapter 9. Yes. It says that, for unto us the ch a child is born, unto mm -hmm. us a son is given, yes. and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Amen. Wonderful Counselor, yeah. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Verse 7, for the increase of his government and peace, they, I mean in peace, there will be no end unto the throne of David and over his kingdom mm -hmm. to order it and establish it, uh, established with this judgment and justice. Okay. So the work of judgment must be done yes. in order for him to be able to establish the kingdom of glory. Mm -hmm. So as we are speaking right now, while we are sitting here mm -hmm. in the kingdom of grace, the kingdom of glory is going on and God is busy judging, try to get the candidate yes. ready for that kingdom to come. So it will make us, you know, it will help us if yeah. we are to make a choice to continue to live according to what God has given to us in the kingdom of grace so that we can be actually escalated to the kingdom of glory, which Amen. is about to be established Amen. very soon. Amen. Okay, for the sake of time, yeah. we're going yeah. to run over a few things, right? Yes. Okay. Now, we are talking about uh, uh, the judgment. Yeah. Now, a, a small group of Millerites, yes. uh, 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 the disciples go out and preach mm -hmm. the kingdom of, uh, of God is at hand. Yes. The Millerites go out and preach mm -hmm. it is God's judgment yes. hour. Mm -hmm. uh, now, when we look at the Millerites, just like the disciples, yes. they, mm. they make an error. Yeah. They read in the Bible, mm. and 2,360 yes. days, yes. so shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Be cleansed. Mm. Now they are thinking the cleansing of the sanctuary is the second yeah. advent. Yeah. They prepare themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. They let go of their goods. Everything. These people are, are willing Everything. to go to heaven. Yeah. Mm. Now <laughs> they realize we made an we made error. A mistake. It's not a fact. Not. We are not going to heaven. You, you, you know the sad thing is they read and, and stop at a certain part of yes. the Bible yes. where the answer was just in the very next yeah. verse yeah. or in yeah. the very next chapter. Mm. Here is an error. Mm. Now yeah. the error, they have seen the error now. Mm. The most important thing is how do they react after okay. the error. Yes. Mm. Let's yes. also look at yes. the fact that the early rain is poured out. Mm. We must also speak to the later rain that's yes. going to be poured out. Yeah. We look at the Millerites. We are talking into the close of prophecy. Mm. Mm. Please let's let's, let's conclude engaged. this nicely okay. with all of these uh, mm. put together. Mm. You will notice, uh, Sister Ngube, that um, uh, the points of uh, disappointment are very deep. Mm. Mm. Uh, you read in this book, Great Controversy, that a number of them actually uh, gave up from mm. the faith. Mm. Why? Because when there's an error, when you have failed, the challenge is that how much noise is going to come around you about mm. this. Mm. Imagine a social media post mm. where you have done wrong. Yeah. The, the, the bombardment of uh, the social media on that platform of yours, because mm. we're saying uh, Christ is coming down. He has not come. Mm. You fake guys. <laughs> so just a few who can stand on the rock, yeah. mm. not on the sand, mm -hmm. are able to rise again. Mm. Mm. I just want to say that as we are living right now, First Peter chapter four verse seventeen, mm -hmm. for the time has the time has come for uh, for judgment to begin in the house of God, mm -hmm. and if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Okay. So the judgment of God is going on right now, mm -hmm. and we'll have to find ourselves if we are to be called to court of the, of the law of God, are we going to be able to stand? Okay. Mm. You know, when you talk about uh, Daniel chapter 8, verse 14, unto 2,300 days, then mm. the sanctuary shall be then cleansed. And then you talk about Revelation 14, 
verse 6, okay, fear God and give glory, glory. to him because yeah. the hour of his judgment has come. come. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that the cleansing of the sanctuary was the antitypical, was the day of atonement mm -hmm. where people had to Oh, confess their sins yeah. and all that. Also, judgment, investigative judgment. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It's the same work. We should be confessing our sins and repenting from our sins. So yeah. this is the kingdom of grace that we should be taking advantage Amen. of. And there's a perfect example in the Bible. Mm -hmm. David himself in, in, in chapter yes. 51, yeah. Yeah. who says, cleanse me, O oh God, Amen. you know, and yeah. create in me a clean heart, clean heart. you know, Amen. And, and, and cleanse me from all my iniquities. So mm -hmm. that is the kingdom of grace Amen. that we should be taking Amen. advantage Amen. of Amen. at the present. <laughs> Thank you very much. For the sake of time, we have to conclude. Let us remember, viewers, that as we go along life's journey, disappointments mm. yes, are come. guaranteed. Yes, when, yet when disappointments have come, we must know that grace of God Amen. is still Abounds. part of the dis hey. disappointment. He mm. walks with us. Amen. If he was not there, those disappointments will kill us. Mm. And now let's have the spirit of disciples that yes. says, our Savior has risen. Amen. We have guarantees that will make it to the kingdom. Amen. That's why the early church could not be held back. Yes. Be it matter, Tom, they were ready to go oh, in. Oh, yes. And then we conclude with the words of Paul in Romans chapter 8. This is 38. For I am persuaded Amen. that neither death, yes. nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, Amen. nor powers, nor oh, things yes. present, nor things to come, yeah. nor heights, nor depth, yes, nor me. any other creature mm. shall be able to separate, separate us, us from the love of God, which, yeah. is, which is in Christ Jesus. May the Lord richly bless you, brother Francois. Please close for us in prayer. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, what's in heaven, Father, I want to thank you so much for revealing to us the disappointment of the disciples, which is a lesson book for us to be able to improve in our ways on how we live with you. We pray, dear God, Father, for our viewers at home, whatever they are, and we are here in the studio, dear God, Father, we commit our lives in your hands. Bless us now, dear Lord, with the Holy Spirit. Give us clear understanding and help us to have a right conception of what you really want us to learn uh, as we go through this journey of life experience. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you so much for leading us this far, and we surrender our ways in your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.